Ooh. Woody's worst possible matchup. Um, though not really. I mean, skillless, it's not that bad because at least the war dancers don't have strip ball or tackle. Um, this would be the worst matchup, it, you know, if um, if they had tackle and shit. But as it is, it's probably it's probably just a bad matchup rather than rather than the worst possible one. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> yeah, it's all right, good. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> nah, it's not even one in, it's not even the one in nine game. That's the, uh, it's the having a dominant strength advantage game, isn't it? No, oh, except he's got a fucking tree. How was I supposed to know? Exactly, Ducky. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Try to feel better, bang on people with this, and then they yeah, get the worst possible matchup. No, no, no. What can go wrong, eh? Just have half the team cast. Yeah, but ain't nobody got time for that, Pedro. But yes, obviously I should have looked at his team. I was still kicked, to be fair. I think kicking is good against against everybody really, isn't it? Because of me. How many how many epics do you need to make a um legend? Oh, I've got a better here. Whoa. In fact, I know it's not because I've written it here. Because I worked it out, you make you make forty six profit from building and selling a, uh, a epic. You get forty six profit, but if you sell a legendary, you get eight profit. So it's way worse. Isn't it? Did they get a reroll? Oh no, I got a third. Phew, too thin. That's the biggest pro tip of them all. Pro tip, have bright, have bright or green uniforms so you can amuse yourself with them while your opponent takes 10 hours to take each of his turns and you slowly lose the will to live. That's the pro tip there. Be jealous of Jam Toast with his Priestess of Time. Dirty Kingo. To be fair, he's got he's 
he's got a pass and catch, hasn't he? And he'll do a handoff on, at the end. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't have. He's got two catches. He's not trying to look for. He just literally has two catches. Back there. Right, do I try to uh, put the pressure on or no? Thing is, you can just dodge away basing them, so I guess I base the guys without dodge, which is only two guys. Could 3D him and then base him, base him. Stop fucking firing everything! Ah! Cunt! Right, so I've got at least at least his strength three guys are based, aren't they? And uh his his non dodge players are based. It's not really giving up blocks though, because he needs three guys to make each block. So you know. Giving up blocks and it's giving up blocks, isn't there? There's, uh, there's, there's basing intelligently versus a player with no rerolls, and there's just giving up blocks for no reason. And, um, I like to think that isn't so bad doing it what I just did. I think this will be the last game of blood. To be honest. Yeah, first and last game I imagine so. I'm all, I've already
in typical Inarian style, he makes the riskier pass. You know, he could have passed here and hunted off there, but instead he makes the pass in the more dangerous position. Typical, typical Inarian play that. I don't recommend that if you're going to do dumb shit like a pass and a handoff in the same turn. At least make the pass the less risky one. But there you go, he didn't. He did risky dumb shit and got rewarded. So, there you go. Can't argue with that, can you, hey? Yeah, exactly, he wanted the star player. That's what I mean, typical. Typically, in Arian, he wanted the star player point on the war dancer. Because, you know, it's not as if they don't do everything. Let's go full. I know I can't go full anti blitz because he's he's done this. Clever dingo. You can probably go full anti blitz though. I guess he's a bit exposed, isn't he? Maybe I could put Skink on the line, block him, block him, and dodge him away. I would, I would, to be fair, I would take every game starting uh, starting 1-0 down on turn 2. I'm quite alright with it. Although, obviously, it's a bit tricky against Wood Owls. Oh, God, I'm at the wrong square. Outrageous. I think I just want him. I mean, I could blitz with him, obviously. But I think I would want him over here. Seems he's got a war dancer over here. Nah, I'd blitz with him. Safe moves first. Blow on the blitz. Bit exposed that side, aren't? Oh, what the fuck! Nearly went there instead of ending turn. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. There's obvious. Well, GFI. I know he's gonna have to base the get an assist or something if he wants to do it, isn't he? Oh, I need the skills on so I can see which of the catches. Didn't even think that till now. I could have put the Crocs fight in the tree, couldn't I? But the thing is, if I didn't pow him, he just puts a catcher on a Saurus and then 2D's my, uh, 2D's my Crocs, doesn't he? Which is bad times.
so I have uh, I have let him base the cross, haven't I, with a tree, which is a bit shit. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna blitz a ski. is getting punched. Which is good, isn't it? Hey. Good for you. He made the he made the dodge away from the crop so did he? Bastard. Right. So he's gonna go there, he's gonna 2D him, he's gonna 2D him. He's gonna 2D him, he's gonna 2D him, he's gonna 3D him. Or even him. So Gone there, shouldn't I actually? This isn't actually safe now. Have to have to not one in nine this. Relying on the ogre activating now, aren't I? Which is a bit shit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, so it has to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two. Come back here. I guess I will re re roll this block so I can make it before the other one. Got him. That was worth facing the ball, wasn't it? Yeah. still just leaping this way, can't he? But at least I've got stuff around there. I guess I should have had these other way around. I should have had a leap in this way. Or a guy behind him. No, in front of him. Something not where it was. Something not where it was would have been better. Yeah, just because they're ropey as fuck. That's why I chose um, Yeah, they're enjoyable to play. That's that's the one. Yeah, 
definitely, definitely this is the worst possible matchup. Still not that unfavorable though, really. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't do a lot though, does it? That's the thing, because he can still, it's only reducing him to a one dice and he can still leap in this way, which he might, it looks like he's going to go for. I should have, I should have put it like a rear Venga bus. I like, you know, having, should have had the ball here and the other guy in front, then you'd have had to them all the way around, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have probably hit it from any angle, to be fair, no matter how I put it. And he is movement eight after all, isn't he? But having this guy here means that there should be, it should be more chance of a favourable scatter, isn't there? Especially with the fourth down. Another tackle zone. Bounces out perfectly for him though. Of course. Had to, uh, it had to bounce out perfectly for him, didn't it? I mean, if it had gone into any of these squares, which is a, which is a good thing about having him there. Just the wiki page, Jam Toast. Um, that has that has like all the crusade and obviously all the legend. So yeah, okay, but you know what I mean. It was it was a perfect setup for me. One, two, three. Like hitting one of these three and then bouncing again was as good as it was going to get for him. But I've got the recovery now, at least. And a 2D on him. Have to block him that way, I guess. So I could then block him on three dice if it's a pal. If it's a push, block him, blitz him. You could go there first. I could get the crops in first. Crocs is the best, isn't it? Maybe I just walk in with him. Don't get too... too frisky. Is the order of the day, isn't it, with um, with lizard man? Basing, basing the ward answer isn't that good, is it? But then, I guess I could go there and base two of them. But he's already basing them. We'll go there. Make a screen in front of his team. Hold him. Get away from the tree. Seems good. I would take MA probably Astro for all I do, right? 
That's the thing that's stopping Chofs being overpowered is the fact that they're so slow. Oh yeah, jump up as well, double five, yeah, okay, jump up, jump up. Jump up, yeah. Yeah, jump up, pretty good. Pretty good, just quietly. You could always go for a jump up later. You could be greedy and go and go movement because it's harder to get than jump up and take jump up if you get a later double. But yeah, jump up's really good. Maybe he should have based both these two guys. But I like that he made a screen in front. the Croxy's tail might do something. And you glove skills. <laughs> Not so good for me, but... <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? He's leaving the uh, side open then, isn't he? I'd love to blitz with the crops, but I don't know. I don't want to fucking fuck everything up. Crocs could go in here, could blitz him, and then have like a cage in contact. It would. I wouldn't hate it. Three, four, five, six. He goes up there. He goes there. Crocs goes in. Skink goes in. Skink's dodge. Forward. After thinking all that through, get this war dancer instead. Dodgery do.
click on each one individually to see the picture. Great. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, at least he didn't get hit by a mighty blow. I didn't mind failing. But I thought I, I realised I should have uh, dodged in the wrong way. I should have dodged this way. So that then he could have blocked him and then he still would have, he wouldn't have been based. So it was my fault for the misplay, I guess. There you go, getting out bashed by wood elves. Absolutely standard. And because I didn't grab that kind of shitty sideline-ish cage, now he gets to fully fill up. Probably won't build break right through now. Navy seven doesn't have hidden mighty blow. It's just because war dancers make every single blitz, so they get a higher percentage of cards compared to their teammates, don't they? Just because they make it for that much that noticeably higher blocks because like orc blitzers for example you've got four of them and you've got black orcs that block and stuff like that if you go this build you've got three catchers it's like um, you know same with storm then. At least I'm trying the way. Fully out bashed by the dogs. I'm just gonna have to take a minute to not concede here. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I, I would I would look at those pictures if they were all one page, but I'm not gonna click every fucking link. Holy shit! What planet? What planet does he live on where he expects people to click on?
That is some good art, isn't it? You shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> to be fair, professional professional artists should should do decent art, shouldn't they? <laughs> no. Thank you, Sir Ironclad. Because fuck clicking on them all. Holy shit. No, it's not. Alright, is that the top thing? It's too hard. They want you to click on every fucking picture, man. I ain't clicking 23 times. Fuck is he on? At least you can't re-roll it, eh? Strength force sprit would be good, wouldn't it? Edge five strip would be good as well. Oh, holy shit! Oh, I guess edge five strip would be better. Well, I don't know. Yeah, edge five strip. Yeah, claw palm storm vermin. That is good, isn't it? Holy shit, claw palm storm vermin for certain. Bash team in Blood Bowl being outbashed by the weakest team in Blood Bowl is uh, makes it tough. Him. He could blitz him. If he pushes him, no, no, then he powers him. Then he can go through, and then they can dodge through. It's grim, but that's all there is, isn't it? Croxy, Croxy Pow. I just fucking fail alone. Now. I really want to concede so bad. Obviously, I need to stop the leap. I need to stop the chain push out. It's um, it's just looking a disaster at the moment. I guess I can't stop the leap.
Yeah, that's pretty good Wolverine like. I thought about something like that to be honest for uh, for my channel. Like uh, not of a fucking Norse guy. But I thought about that myself as a Blood Bowl player. I did I did think that would be a good idea. My pro tip is concede. Um, that's my pro tip. It's just to concede. It's just that. <sighs> wow, you dirty dingo, I don't know. Let the glad smash ribs worse though, like, to be fair. That's like a shit beast. Pro tip play cross out. I really want, with all my body wants to concede and play cross out. That was never, that was never, well, not, not me as a beast man, just, it, just, just, just best Fagal with his, with his fucking two heads. Um, would have been a good would have been a good amount I think but um Hobgoblin is fucking crazy. Yeah. Hopefully he fails his leap, but he, he won't. He'll leap in, how kill score. Conceit should be an option, shouldn't it? In a game that takes an hour after you know you've lost, you know, people people can quit the game in cross out. In a game that takes three minutes max, people can quit the fucking game. And then uh, he just one dice powered, by the way. Though. Um, mind boggling. What a maneuver. So, Jimmy's <laughs> one head and Fash is the other. No one knows. Oh no, there, is, there, are, there are pictures of Fash, aren't there? Makes him three pluses like that's gonna fucking happen. Time to click on the end zone nearly. This does save a dodge, doesn't it, by making it one, two, three, four, five. Try to get him out of the way. Good man. Don't recall breaking armor seven once this game. Maybe I could. Trip wire. Look, you got the extra reroll. The only thing is, I am. Um, I wouldn't have rerolled the bonehead last turn if I didn't have the extra reroll from the trip wire. So. Unbelievable, and it 
it's even, at least it's 10 each here, despite him having an armor 7 thing. I, I couldn't have reached. <laughs> I couldn't have reached. I think it was too GFI to get in the end. But... <laughs> Yeah, that's, that was the misplay, the, the touchdown foul not being possible, yeah. But, I mean, it was hard being outbashed. When you're outbashed by Wood Elves, um, it's asking a lot, isn't it? You get the three on the line that way, they get to punch people. And there's a bit of cover against the Blitz. He didn't score the D because he got powered. I'll skill up a skink if I can. I, I, I like them having sidestep. Alright, a riot's okay. I guess don't have to store the one. So, I'm a. It's out of range of what the war dance is at the moment, so I can accept a double score here. But I guess it would be better to uh, blitz with the crops first. Ooh. That's another bonehead. That's what we like. Shiggy push. Perfect. Not a boat down. Unbelievable. Right, what, what's his war dancer going to do? Maybe blitz one of these kings. There's no way through those there. Uh, well, there is if he blocks this one. So I guess they have to come up like this. These can fall back. You could all splitting your team, but it means the. Uh, oh god, I can't do it. I oh, fucked up. I needed him there, didn't I? So he can't just blitz through. Alright, no pick up the ball then. Pro tip don't do what I just did. Make a GFI now for the pickup. <laughs> All right, I didn't end up that bad, but that was pretty bad. That was the safe moves first, yeah, Fash. That was the safe moves first, wasn't it? It was a three dice blitz rather than three dice. Right, yeah, I'll bash back there and dodge him. That was a horrible misplay, forgetting that he had. At least he's taken root anyway, so now I can fuck off away from the tree a bit. And he had to activate him, didn't he, to get through to hit the skink. I was thinking that, you know, he'd have to move him to get through to hit the skink, which was good. But then, and then just moved it anyway, like a fucking idiot. Like this skink should have been the one who had the touchdown, and he should have been like here. That is the weakness of the, uh, what's it called, off asymmetrical defence, isn't it? Is that if your tree does take root, he's on a side instead of in the middle. It's much better to have him in the middle if he takes root. Get a, getting better dice from your opponent's definitely a pro strat. Don't have your Saurus die to uh, fail dodges is, is the best one.
I mean, to be fair though, by taking root, at least he's cut the cut the field in half for his defending, hasn't he? I've never seen Ducky get banged on in the playoffs. I mean, so he's definitely been lucky, hasn't he? I mean, he hasn't been lucky to make it every time. Um, but he's definitely been lucky to be as successful as he has been in the playoffs. Because if anyone can just get outbashed, can't they? Like, sillily outbashed. Wow. Dirty dingo. Blitz with a Crocs, but I guess I'm not going to be able to. He gets out bashed in in games that um, aren't in the finals. <laughs> right. So I haven't got much of a cage here, have I? I mean, I have to activate the Crocs. He can block him, he can make a dodge to get there so he could 2D him. Or just dodge to make a cage. Gotta blitz this one. I think the Crocs blitz is probably the best bet. It's a shame that he's not behind these like he kind of should be. He probably just wants to uh, base him, doesn't he? He can base him. A couple of safe moves first. I think maybe just blitz with the crocs, it's three dice, isn't it? And then no way you stand there. Dodge once, maybe dodge a second time. Maybe not though. Maybe not. I'd like him to be there. Get the two D. Not great. You'll probably just leap in and pound him on. I'd certainly, he certainly can roll threes forever. That's the thing, isn't it? It's such a, it's such a small a game. is such a small sample size that it's very easy for somebody to just make five leaps and fail them all, or five leaps and succeed them all, or five leaps and fail them all, isn't it? It's, uh, it's very, very easy for crazy dice to happen.
But um, he'd probably make the uh, the motorbike, wouldn't he? Oh yeah, I could imagine that. Maybe, yeah. Oh god, yeah, just the widest thing ever. Yeah, he's going for a leap. I'll get the fuck off away from him. I'm down this side, so I get to stay away from him too. Right, so this could be a great turn now, couldn't it? Which is neat and not fail stuff. So. Move him to there, but that would rely on this block working then. I'd also like to get him to there if possible. I don't want to have to rely on making the block first. Oh, I could make it three dice. I'd like to blitz him with the crocs. I'd like to block him. I think I'm just going to have to make this block first. As bad as it is. I guess I can't blitz with it. Mm. He could blitz, and then it's definitely going to happen. Crocs in a bizarre position. Now get the Crocs in there. Uh, Please kill him. Will there be an armor break? Yes. Yes. I'm safe from this ward answer. Not safe from this one. But you have to go four, five, six, seven, eight, and GFI as well. Or you'd have to like dodge through, so dodge and then go like that and hit him from that way you can't, it's going to be really hard to dodge that way and scatter him to the sideline I can accept it to fall down now as well on these blocks oh, I powered him Two in one turn. Outrageous. Outrageous. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's um, that's impressive. Thank you. 
both war dancers are active now though aren't they and I'm pretty boxed in but I can blitz block 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 This, this is a bit shit. The uh, the foul having a defensive assist, isn't it? But um, I have to foul. Him, so. <laughs> and it was the it was the defensive assist that saved him. Great. Look, look, look. Snoblars or Gnoblars. Oh yeah, they are Noblars. That's better than they're fucking runts now, aren't they? In um, in Blood Bowl 2016, which is just fucking stupid. Noblars is better. It fits the fits the Warhammer flow. Oh yeah, he can. Oh yeah, fair enough. I didn't mean to break his armor though with a foul, didn't I? I, don't know. I didn't mean to fucking armor break him, but obviously he couldn't roll. Couldn't roll anything to fucking save my life. So <laughs> that was that was nice of him, wasn't it? it was nice of him doing that. This is three dice as well. They'll have they'll have snotling or run whatever the fuck you want to call stat lines, won't they? Um, he could block in, then he can three dice. I could push him, then blitz him, then surf him as well, couldn't I? Oh, I should have moved him around there for. Good job I made the third. Maybe I should um, get the crocs in front there. So 
we'll just make this pull off and then a 2D rather than a 3. God, he always bone I didn't need to do anything, did I? He didn't need to move. Oh, I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. Fuck. Fuck, after thinking all that time, I fucking glance at, uh... I glance at the old fucking chat and then... Take my off the ball and do a stupid thing. You should just three dice. Well, he would still he would have still boneheaded, I guess. But um, I, just, I didn't need to move them, did I? They were they were good where they were. They were absolutely fine where they were. Now it's not Chad's fault. It's my it's my fault for losing concentration, isn't it? Um, but then. It is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. That, that was a thing. It was a good turn, but it did stop me. It did stop me moving up the field, didn't it? Luckily, it's going to movement A, so. So there is that. But that was a really bad bone here. All I've got to do is not not fail this uh, blitz. Right. Where can I go? There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want, I want to be one in front of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd like to be there, wouldn't I? That's five in. I've just got to take care of him first. I guess I should move this guy up first. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So at least I've got a scoring threat. No, I didn't. Got lucky to not fail. Got loads of options now, don't I? Except he has to go there. Which means he has to go there, really. So I could make a GFI. I could put him in behind. He could go in behind. Then there's a Croxigor there, which is pretty good, isn't it? But he could also go around to there. And then he could GFI in behind, and then he could come out in front. GFIs. Oh, oh god, I don't mind going. For, I don't hate going for all the GFIs. <laughs> okay, I'll read all this. Now he has to come in behind. He can go in there, can't he? He can go there to stop that. Root. Ah, you c oh, that's okay. His body still takes him square, doesn't it? So he can't leave it that way. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, good enough even down yet. Yeah, he still occupies the square, doesn't he? So now, finally, the uh, the Vingabus formation is going to pay off, and he's only going to get a one dice blitz. Ducky the dirty didn't you? Yep, in for the one dice. No, oh, no, he didn't. He didn't blitz. Okay. I guess he just misclicked. I am noob, <laughs> not to blitz. <laughs> I not do blitz. Good. Yeah, misclick. The only question is if I can get out of this with all three dice. Canoring threat there. Um, so, I could block him that way. Two, three, four. Mm. One, two, three, four. Would only be. No, two, three. It's one at the moment, isn't it? So, we could get one, two, three, four assists in there, three dice in. For a push. But then this would only be a two dice. But if it's a pow, then this could be a three dice, then that could be a three dice. So, I could chain, I could blitz him, but I'd have to put in two players here. Blitz him forward to there, then him into there, heat block him, heat block him, and someone would block the. The ward answer, but he's already ill. He's not eight away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He is eight away. So, try to get the crocs in. I had this I had this Saurus so I might have been it with him on three dice anyway. So he can three dice him. Push was good, I think. Well, maybe it wasn't. Oh, good. 
Three dice in the last game. <laughs> yeah. Pro tip: Don't roll one in nines because you 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 make yourself roll one in twenty-seven instead. That's the thing, isn't it? If you make it a if you make it a one in twenty-seven instead of a one in nine, you fail that. I thought there was a good chance of it failing to be failing. Anyway. Yeah, no rear or the riot though would be a bit of a bastard. Wouldn't it? <laughs> nah, the lizard pro tips did alright before, to be honest. They haven't lost every game. It's just harder because you've got to do it in the hole and you've got to use a hole against this setup, haven't you? It's, it's a lot harder using the hole technique. Still nobody's in the tennis. Manorino versus Djokovic. Never easy, is it? It's never fucking easy. That's why I always get the riot preventing one. Well, when I use a bash team, that's why I always use the riot one. Because there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than 2-1 grinding your opponent exactly as you should do. And then get fucked on the kickoff. It's just the worst. Sure, looks like it. <laughs> no, but Bash teams should win two one, shouldn't they? Um, it's fair enough if people want to try a different strategy with. Uh, with Skaven or Wood Elves, but <laughs> scoring soon with a bash team is just a recipe for disaster. There's no way, there's no way Inarian could be like, uh, could do the things he does with, with a bash team. 
Wow. He's just going to make the one turner. True, it's also except win two, you know. But um good luck stopping somebody who tries to score in two turns. Games not noticed. Absolute madman. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. I mean if <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, I prefer the two nil grind, but you just can't stop Woodell scoring that one is scoring two two. You just can't stop, can you? You know, if, if like I know he rolled dice, but if Woodell's want to score in two, you basically can't stop. Him. You can try, obviously. Like if it was just win at all costs, I would um. Try to um, I would try harder to stop people scoring if it was just win at all costs. But seeing as there's progression and stuff, my ball. Right, it killed my souls. You can probably get a push here. Blood ball in it. Blood ball pro tips don't double score on turn 17, resulting in a dead Saurus. No, <laughs> oh, thanks, Ducky. That's what I want too. <laughs> Not gonna happen, is it? I thought I played pretty well, though. I mean, lizard men, you have to make safe moves first, don't you? Because because of the threat of the one in nine, and knowing which turns you're, you're allowed to use your rerolls and stuff. Um, that that's the thing you've really got to be fucking careful with. Uh, with what with uh, lizards? <laughs> yeah, all the FBO answers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the curse of pro tips is still strong. Yeah, halflings. Yeah. Maybe halflings will, will work. Yep, yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay, no. Strength two ball carry versus what answers. It's absolutely horrible. Get the 2 1 win and get your team killed. I mean, the miss next game was bad enough. <laughs> you know, the miss next game was absolutely, absolutely bad enough. I always got side. I like a sidestep skink. It just gives you so much more stuff going down the sidelines, doesn't it? Um, get the apple. And, yeah, I could have just bought a Saurus if I had only got one miss next game. I could have sacked him and bought a replacement Saurus. But, um... I guess that's uh, I guess that's probably the team dead because only four Saurus is just crap, isn't it? That's the uh, that's the that's the problem. It's just so much weaker than a than a starting team now. 
I mean, I could, I could, I'll play the second game. I can play the second game and then, uh, you know, see what happens. But it's going to be really tough, isn't it? Anyway, there you go. It was. I thought it was quite good because it was against the. Uh, the I mean, it's not as bad as if they had strip, obviously, but it's it's one of their worst matchups at a thousand TV. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.